How are you guys doing today? I was getting some questions about how these self-watering buckets work. So I just wanted to give you guys a little vid here of what's going on. You got two buckets. This one sits down inside this one here. And as you can see, I've got a three inch net cup covered in landscape fabric that sits down into here. And I've got a starburst pattern of quarter inch holes drilled so water can flow through this bucket and go down into the reservoir pretty easily here and this tube here is your water feeding tube from the top so as you fill that tube it goes into the bottom of this bucket here this hole here is where the bottom of this bucket sits so when that bucket is inside this one it sits right here so when you're filling it any excess water above this point goes out this hole it keeps your water level pretty consistent that way you only have to maybe give your plants water every two or three days sometimes not even then if you get rain because it fills it itself so here's the system i did out in the front here on the driveway this was the prototype i made um, there's eight of them and they're made exactly like that. As you can see in my garage, I got a lot more of them made. I haven't got them planted yet. Um, they've been in here a little over a week now. They're doing pretty good. They were real droopy, but they're coming out of that now. I've noticed the stalks have got a lot beefier. We've had a lot of rain the last couple days. And I haven't even, haven't, I haven't watered them since the first day I put them in. Um, the pipe that I have running across here is pretty handy. I just plug the hose in here and turn it on and uh, it fills each bucket automatically. They'll all start squirting out the front there pretty much about the same time and turn the water off and you're done. What I've got going on here is just a half inch one and a half inch pvc and then i've got half inch pvc running down into it as you can see each one has a t with a little three inch piece and each one is capped and at the end of them caps i just drilled a little hole and that creates pressure so when you turn your water on, you've got pretty much equal pressure throughout your whole tube. I kind of learned that the hard way. I didn't have them capped at first and it was only watering the first four buckets here. After I capped them and drilled that hole, equal pressure, equal water. Now they all get watered. So that's pretty much how it works. I ended up cutting the tops of the lids here so I can well, I'll get them on, on and off easier. It's wet in there, but it's not soggy. It's still pretty loose. Um, around this edge here, I've got a nice bead of tomato fertilizer. And I'm hoping that the condensation that drips down, you see that on that bucket? Um, I'm hoping that drips back down onto the topsoil here and releases that fertilizer a little bit at a time so I won't have to maintain them that much. That's pretty much the whole object of this is to plant them and forget them, pick them, plant them and pick them. Very low maintenance, no weeds, no fertilizing, occasional watering and that's about it i've got this simple little hose attachment that i made it's very crude but it works it's just an old piece of hose with this piece of half inch pvc pipe i taped on here it just sticks right in there you turn the hose on you let it go for about a minute and you're done unplug it you're good for a couple days hopefully it all goes well Today is day, I think seven or eight, and 
they're looking all pretty good. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you understand what I'm doing here a little bit more.